Hey guys, Molin here. A few days ago I wrote an exam in economics and then on the day where we were supposed to get the exam back, the professor mentioned my name together with three other people and I was like, oh my god, what have I done wrong? Why does he like call me out out of 500 students? Like it's a really big class of 500 students and he mentioned my name. I was like, what did I do wrong? And it turned out that I was actually like one of the top four people doing that exam that 500 people did and I actually had a chance to win a book that he wrote. Um, but yeah, he had two books, but you know, four people had very high score on that exam and we had to guess a random number and I didn't get it. But anyway, what I want to talk, talk about today is how gaming actually like improved my grades or my abilities like as a person. Now here you can see this was um, the exam. Um, I got 34 of, out of 36 points. Um, on the last one I got 35 out of 36. But what's special about this, the average is 21 points. So I'm like much better than the average, same with the median. And what made me able to like get this score? I didn't study much, actually I didn't study anything at all. But you know, it's the auction house. It's playing video games, it's playing Diablo. Now think about it. Um, you can either learn like economic uh, concepts from like a book and probably like, okay, never really understand them, but you can actually like apply them in a the game. Like in Diablo, everything matters. Like all the concepts like that we learned in theory, I actually like was able to apply in practice and that's why I was able to understand everything so well and do so well on this exam. Now I actually reached a level where in most exams, whether it's math or um, economics, I can do very well even without studying for it and I'm really fortunate for that. And what do I have to thank for this? Well, a bit my parents, but mostly playing computer games. I've been playing computer games since I was a little kid. Um, since I was five years old and stuff, I made a video about that before. And, you know, playing those games like for 10 hours a day um, really, really helped me with a lot of skills. Now, um, a couple of weeks ago, I posted this on my Instagram. This is like a summary of what being a gamer left me. Those are just a few examples um, of what gaming actually improves. First, perfect aiming. Of course, it depends on the type of game, but in a lot of games, um, you learn aiming and reflexes. History knowledge, also in some games, for example, I played Age of Empires. You didn't even play that. You get to learn a lot about history in that game. Same with many other games. English language, this is very important for a lot of European players. Now, a lot of people, um, for example, in Spain, France, Italy, and so on, they don't speak English pretty well. But, you know, if they are gamers, they actually speak it much better. And I'm really, like, thankful that I was able to play online games for many years. So I'm able to speak English now, and some people understand it. I know some people still don't understand my accent, but some people do and it's definitely better than if I would just have learned it in school. Um, Co-op tactics, another big thing, games are always about teamwork. Um, no matter what game it is, you always like have one common goal, it's like to be good at the game or to enjoy the game, have fun and playing with others. It's even like a social experience, so even like social skills are improved if you play games. Um, strategic blending of course. Um, but also like some research studies have shown this that um, it actually like if you are good at gaming it's gonna help you to get a job especially in like 2025 2030 if you play game now play games now like in the new generation like those skills are really gonna be appreciated if you're good at games and can actually help you to get a job as well um, learn to never surrender <laughs> uh, not sure if every game teaches this but a lot of games do um, save the girl also important how to differentiate good from evil um, also like in games usually in most games not in all but you take the like a hero that's trying to save the world for example in Diablo or in WoW you always like the hero trying to save um, the so-called good and most of all hours and hours of fun so yeah you see there's so many benefits of gaming like it increases the cognitive abilities the reaction time and like as I said, like most games are so complex, your brain always has to think. Like if you would just, what would they be the alternatives to playing games? Um, I don't know. I mean, first of all, I think you can combine everything. Like I'm playing games and also doing sports and stuff. Also going out and having friends. But you know, some people like, they watch TV for 10 hours a day. Does TV like improve any of those things? Maybe like the English language and the social experience if you watch it together with other people. But apart from that... Watching TV doesn't improve your reflexes. Watching TV doesn't um, improve your aiming and so on. So essentially, like gaming is a really good thing to do in your free time. I think as long as it's not getting excessive, like I know some people like they only play games and then, for example, they decide 
Okay, I'm not gonna go to school anymore um, and stuff, but um, as I said, if you find the right balance, gaming really can help you get very far in your life and make you a happier person. Now also, like for example, um, a lot of people play WoW now, with, for example, 12 years old, but when I played WoW, it teach me like being a guild leader and playing with other people actually taught me some um, leadership skills and more to and I'm really like lucky for this also like presentation skills but that's more like that I got from streaming and stuff or making videos um, so I'm really confident now for example when I have to do a presentation in school but when I was young uh, for example when I was like eight or ten years old what I did when I had to do a presentation in class was I would like um, write such a wall of text um, not even keywords just like really big wall of text and then I would present it and I'd be really nervous, but you know, now after like playing games or making videos, I can just like, I don't need any text at all. I just go out randomly and just talk out of my mind and I get very good grades on my presentations as well. So, um, hope you guys um, kind of agree with me on that. Gaming is fun. Gaming is great. And as I said, it improves so many abilities that you have and ultimately probably leads to a happier person. So let's keep playing games. Right now I'm enjoying Hearts on League of Legends. Um, but yeah, you know, next year there's so many other good games coming out, including Reaper of Souls, Wildstand, so on. Um, yeah, really hyped for next year. I hope there's going to be more and more great games and that we have a lot of fun in them. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll be back.